What's up, everybody? Doc Dog 1985. There's levels to this. All right, guys, check this out, man. So the PS5 is going to increase in price. <sighs> Look, man, there's, there's two different things to this, right? I honestly wanted to make a, a, a console war video and have fun with it and everything like that, but like I said, uh, I said this to to Dirk Griggity. Shout out to you, my dude. When he had his, um, when he went live earlier today. I want to make fun of this, but I don't feel like it would be in good taste. And honestly, I'm kind of like, I'm kind of disappointed in Sony more than anything. Now, I understand. I understand, and I hate when people try to do this. I understand that the point of business is to make money. We understand that. The point of business is to make a profit, is to make money. We we get that. But there has to be a level as to what expense are you willing to screw over your consumers to get that money. The amount of coping that I have seen so far has been disgusting, especially the one that, that says um, it's not happening in your region, so why do you care? what what so just because it's not happening to you you're not allowed to have an opinion number one that is definitely not the american way you know that you know that um, we have opinions about everything that might not concern us but at least this is still gaming right i feel i feel bad i feel bad because as a xbox as an xbox fan i myself own two ps5s and I didn't pay a scalper for any one of them, so I didn't overpay for them. But now somebody that wasn't as fortunate as I was, depending on what region in the world they live in, are going to have to pay borderline scalper prices, right? Because some scalpers would just only make, you know, $50 over, maybe $100 over. I don't know exactly how much this thing, thing is going to be over. But regardless, it's like Sony is scalping their own their own console, which is a crazy concept. And it's two years older. It just doesn't feel right. And I don't know how anybody could defend it. Now, this is another thing that I saw, right? This one I really don't get, man. Doc, if you're going to talk about this one, you got to talk about how Microsoft increased the price for the Series X and S in India or something like that. Apparently, they increased the price. So here, I'm going to tell you right now. Any increase in price of a product after it comes out is wrong. There you go. You happy? You see how that still doesn't make it right what Sony did? So just because Microsoft did it and nobody said anything doesn't mean that it's okay when Sony does it. No, no, I, I, I honestly slipped my rate. I wasn't even tracking. So if Microsoft, in fact, did that, then yeah, that's wrong. Why are you increasing the price, Microsoft? Why? From a business standpoint, again, I understand it's to make money, it's to make profit. And you can't knock another man's hustle, right? Or another woman's hustle, right? Look, these companies are the ones that set the value. They're the ones that set the value. They dictate what they believe their value is and then we we the consumers we confirm it that's how that works so for instance there's a there's a you can hire a personal trainer for thirty dollars or you can hire a personal trainer for five hundred dollars a month or a personal trainer for two thousand dollars a month all three of those personal trainers are probably going to teach you about progressive overload and it's all the same thing. It's all the information. I, I, I even bet you this. All the information that they can give you, you can find online for free. Yet, for whatever reason, they feel like they have this inherent value to them. And they can sell themselves as they want. And the, and the trainer in Beverly Hills that sells himself for him or herself for, herself for $5,000, if people are paying that, by all means, do it. By all means, do it. There might be some dude in Brooklyn that's, that's doing the exact same plan, understands progressive overload, right? Understands nutrition, right? Proteins, carbs, fats, how all that stuff works. That might be doing the exact same thing, but only charging $50 a month. Giving people, be, both clients getting great results. 
you can't knock either of them, right? I can't knock the trainer that wants to charge $5,000 a month for information you could get online for free if people in Beverly Hills are stupid enough to pay for it. I can't knock them for that. The same way I can't, I can't really knock Sony for wanting to charge seventy dollars for a game, and then tell, and then, and then not, it's not even them. Have the fan base say that you need seventy dollars games if you want these great games with great experiences because they got to work harder, and then they literally make a remake and they're selling it for twenty for seventy dollars. Like that to me doesn't make any sense. That that argument went out the window. So now whatever the argument is for the PS Five going up because of a inflation or whatever the case may be then how come it ain't go up across the board i'm gonna tell you why because they have a different level for respect for their market the same way that personal trainer in beverly hills knows that he can charge he and she could charge those people that amount of money even though they're teaching them the same thing that somebody in freaking west bumble whatever is teaching they know they can get away with it Look, man, when I say I'm a selfish gamer, I really mean it. I really mean it. I got my PS5 already. My, I ain't really tripping, right? I know what I expect from my PS5, and I've already come to terms with the fact that this thing is going to be used every once in a while, whenever there's an exclusive game that I really like. But for the most part, Game Pass is a subscription service that I like the most right now. So I'm, I'm playing on my Series X a lot more. I, I like the way low frame rate compensation works. I just, I, I'm just enjoying my Xbox a lot more. I like the controller better. And that's just personal preference. Not saying that it's better or worse. It's just what I like better, right? So I'm okay. But this is still not a good look overall. To the PlayStation fans that already have a PS5, cool. If you got a PS4 Pro... If you got a PS4 Pro, just hold on to that. Don't 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 even upgrade yet. Trust me on that. Trust me, I don't even upgrade yet. If you got a regular PS4, then okay, sure. If you want to upgrade, go ahead, whatever. But nah, I don't know, man. This just doesn't feel right. I wanted to make a funny video and and and, and troll whatever, but I don't know, it just doesn't feel right. I want to see what the excuses are for this. I want And again, if Microsoft did it, then it's bad on Microsoft too. Then it's bad on Microsoft too. So now what? Can you admit that it's bad for Sony as well? I never understood those arguments. Dog Dog went on A5. There's levels to this, man. We out. Peace.